to another daily Bitcoin review. Today, let's talk about the Bitcoin. We're going to break down the Bitcoin on the time frames. I'm going to talk about the high time frames, middle time frame and the smaller time frame. So end of this video, you will have a clear understanding towards what's going on on every phase of this market. Right. And most important, I'm going to try to use the technical analysis and try to use it as simple as possible that each one of you could understand what is going on in the market. Uh, and most important uh, in trading, I'm using a complex approach, a minimum four or five conditions should to match before I enter in trade. And this is also very important. So let's go to the charts right now and let's try to analyze what's going on in the market because it's really a little bit uncertain situation on the market. So uh, what is the best decisions in the uncertain situation actually is to not trade at all. But we have something what we can trade actually. And in this end of this video, I will give some clear signals, uh, of course. Uh, I highly suggest you to enter my Telegram club, link in the description below. Uh, there I'm sharing my enters and exits and all my signals over there. So basically it's over here and check the link in the description below. It's all for free for now yet. So let's go to the charts right now and let's talk about what's going on on Bitcoin. So on the high time frames, there is nothing uh, big changes compare what I was talking about in the previous videos because higher time frames is um, moves a little bit slower, right? So basically. I'm not going to repeat it thousand times. If you are interested about my global scenario, you are welcome to check my uh, previous videos there. I was talking about what I'm thinking about the global uh, market. Right. And uh, in next video, I'm going to talk about again about the bull market, about, about um, uh, global scenario. Right. I have some visions and stay keep uh, keep tuned. So basically uh, press that notification bells and subscribe to the channel to not miss that video as well. I think this is also very important. We know it will be. So uh, on the high time frame is nothing changed. We came to that resistance is really strong resistance and it reacts as a strong resistance, right? Uh, we still cannot see any significant volumes on the top, right? We are rising, rising, but uh, there is no some kind of reaction uh, from the buyers or sellers. So basically this is one of the signs that from here we need some kind of uh, reaction, right? Reaction, it means the correction. We need some kind of correction. So uh, basically, yeah, uh, on, on this time frame, on the daily time frame what we are expecting is a little bit some kind of correction we need at least correction i don't know it will be correction or a downtrend impulse the most uh, valuable information what we know in the high time frame that we need the correction of this movement because uh, volumes are decreasing and price is like very it's it's breaking really really hard right and we are came to that strong resistance so basically where are we expecting that corrections right it's a very simple Here's the way one, two, three, and four, and five. Let me change the color. Let's make it white that you everybody can see it right uh, like that. And let's try to deep dive what can we see right now. So basically, yeah, every impulses has corrections. It's always have uh, has and always will be. So basically, we are expecting the end of this wave three. Uh, I don't know how deep can a wave three goes because it's a wave three. So basically, it can be as deep as it needs. So actually, it's really really long wave three, but it confirms that the it hitting all time highs and still uh, there is the most highest splash of volume. So basically. I would say that we are coming to that end of this wave three, right? So basically there is no such a impulses anymore. Like here happened, right? Like here happened, like such kind of, right? So basically we are slowly, slowly growing and uh, that's actually very bad for the bulls. So be careful and expect some kind of uh, correction on the downtrend, right? And this correction uh, might come at least if you take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave one, uh, three and end of the wave three, the levels where we are expecting the correction is usually from 0.3 to 0.7 but most likely price comes to 0.5.6 area so this is where we are expecting uh, correction at least right and from this area we will be really very um, sensitive about the charts that to see our confirmations all other confirmations as a splash of volumes magdis and all other stuff that we can take this fifth wave or some kind of impulse so basically here i want to see the some right of the first wave right some 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 something like this right if I'm gonna see something like that I mean most likely we're gonna enter in a trade and take that long but before it happens I'm still expecting some kind of correction and from that correction um, we will take some 
some positions. So uh, basically, this is what I'm thinking in a smaller time frame. Let's uh, deep dive a little bit on a smaller time frame and what we can see for trades right now. For trades, um, uh, let me clean up that one we don't need it anymore right are we seeing that clean clear char uh, channel like if we uh, do like this right and i think if we do like that right i would say like this so we have a really beautiful channel where we trade right now uh, and basically if you like to trade the channels i'm not the very big fan of that uh, the basically the it's really simple from the higher uh, range you need to short and from the lower range you need the long right so basically we have that long 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 range right like some kind of uh, basically this is formation for me this is very very uh, bearish formation but in the classical technical analysis this is looks bullish right but we all know that the, te uh, the technical analysis on the such kind of liner uh, technical analysis on the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency works really really uh, tricky because most of the situations because the uh, Bitcoin is very manipulative active. They're happening a lot of manipulations and to expect something like such kind of, right? It will be more logically, I would say, right? Like something like this, right? <laughs> because it's uh, cryptocurrency and especially Bitcoin, right? A lot of people are uh, trading into that zone and a lot of people are longing and knowing this pattern. So basically this pattern always ends up really very bad for, on the crypto. So be careful, but it's really good time to if you gonna uh, if you want to trade uh, basically I suggest you to a short from the high range and low from the long range right so basically uh, put the, your alarm here or something like that but also you can do what you can I enter my telegram club and I will give that signal as we will enter that zone right so I will give that signal and maybe you can enter and trade as well so basically on the five hour time frame this is how it looks like let's deep dive on, on small a smaller time frame and let's see what we are seeing over here and basically it's um actually the 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 market moves really really harmoniously here we can see here we take some trade we long it right in the, my telegram club i gave this signal here over there and all targets worked out so basically uh, i i saw that formation of the beginning of the some kind of impulse and we did trade here the people who traded congratulations take profits and uh let's see the next move of the bitcoin what we see so basically what can we see here here a uh, scenario looks like this here's the way one two this is looks like wave three and right now we are in a wave four five like something such kind of maybe it's possible uh wave three is most impulsive wave it has five impulsive waves this is confirmation for that right so inside you can see in the third wave here's the wave one two three four and five right and right now we have some kind of correction where, where we're expecting that correction it's very simple we put the fibonacci on the beginning of the wave three end of the wave three over there and 0.5.6 area uh, basically it's point three from point three to point seven and plus uh, point five point six is the most likely where the prices comes but I want to mention once again that this is my own kind of uh, Fibonacci levels right and this is how I'm using and I have a special settings for that and if you want me to share that information you are welcome to ask me in the comment section as well and press that likes and I will make educational video about the how I'm using that Fibonacci levels right because it has some kind of nuances which one uh, you must to know actually if you trade the levels right I have completely different uh, to the classical technical analysis and this is also very important so from this area I'm expecting some kind of formation of the fractal or something like that so splash of volumes and etc 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 so basically we can see that here happens some kind of a B and C right and I don't know we entered already we had that reaction from this area so basically uh, it is possible that we will go higher right now but still I'm still waiting maybe we'll go to lower prices and over here if there will be more confirmations because I don't see enough confirmations for now right I want to see more confirmations to enter in that trade so as we will uh, re-enter this phase and if there will be again formation of the wave one two and here we're gonna long it as we're gonna break that wave one we're gonna long it and take this wave three but before it happens we patiently wait for our trades and i would suggest you do not do some kind of 
unnecessary move wait for your trade wait for when your trading system tells you to trade and only after that enter do not fall and uh, uh, do the proper risk management it's really really important so basically this is what i'm thinking about the market i think i talk about everything today and there is actually not much is going on i would say that there is more kind of trades on the um, altcoins so if you want me to record like some uh, signals for the altcoins as well you are also you can also ask me in the comment section that i see your reaction if you want so i will make some analysis about the altcoins because right now i would say like some kind of altcoin season begins or something like that yep and i really saw some interesting trade opportunities on the and some investment opportunities as well on the altcoins because uh everything looks really very nice for the altcoins right so basically if you want me to do that so uh ask me in the comment section press that like and uh yeah subscribe to the channel to not miss anything for all of these people who already subscribed to my channel thank you so much guys for this um for this uh, kind of support the everything that you press likes and uh put really great comments and dm me as well if you have uh, any ideas uh, how we can improve this channel and make our community much better you first will enter in our telegram club and you can dm me and suggesting uh as well soon my uh my educational program will be out and you will have opportunity to join it if you want so i'm not gonna promote it really hard right so uh, how i drop it that's how will it will be and the people who wants to learn something on the market so you're welcome to join my telegram uh, club and as well my um, educational program as well information in our telegram club i already dropped the prices and everything so uh if you like my analysis if you like the way i look at the market you are welcome to subscribe to my channel right and enter the telegram club that's really important because I'm repeating it a thousand times because soon that Telegram Club is going to be closed and I will charge the price for that. And it's really good opportunity for you to enter for free there. And closer we go to 1,000 subscribers, closer we go to <laughs> that we're going to close that club. And that's all. Doors will be closed forever for, for free. So basically, thank you for watching. See you in the next. And bye-bye. Catch you somewhere there.